Hey there! Welcome back to the Community Project. Today, we have an exciting topic to discuss. Happiness and how to cultivate it. We'll also delve into identifying what brings you joy and fulfillment and the importance of sleep for your overall well-being. So, grab a pen and paper because we have some thought-provoking questions and activities for you. Let's jump right in. Before we get started, let's take a moment to reflect. What does happiness mean to you? It's essential to understand your personal definition because happiness can look different for everyone. Pause the video and take a moment to jot down your thoughts. Great! Now, let's explore the activities or experiences that bring you joy and fulfillment. It's crucial to identify these aspects because they play a significant role in cultivating happiness in your life. Take a moment to reflect on the things that make you genuinely happy. Pause the video, grab your pen, and let your thoughts flow. Fantastic! Now that you have a better understanding of what happiness means to you and what brings you joy, let's discuss the importance of sleep for your overall well-being. Sleep is often underestimated, but it's a crucial component of leading a happy and fulfilling life. Good sleep positively impacts your physical and mental health, productivity, and emotional well-being. More on that later. First, let's discuss the findings of Yale professor, Laurie Santos, on happiness. Learning from experts and hearing different perspectives can broaden your understanding and provide practical tips for cultivating happiness in your life. Be sure to take notes and jot down any ideas that resonate with you. Dr. Santos has conducted extensive research on happiness, and her findings challenge some common misconceptions. Professor Santos's first major finding is that we often misunderstand what brings us happiness. Society often tells us that wealth, fame, and material possessions are the keys to a happy life. However, research shows that these external factors have limited long-term impact on our overall well-being. True happiness goes beyond materialistic gains. Another significant factor Professor Santos emphasizes is the impact of social connections on our happiness. Strong and meaningful relationships with others, such as friends, family, and our community, play a vital role in experiencing lasting happiness. Cultivating and nurturing these relationships is essential for our well-being. Gratitude and kindness are two powerful ingredients for happiness, according to Professor Santos. Engaging in acts of kindness and expressing gratitude towards others not only benefits them but also boosts our own happiness levels. Small acts of kindness and showing appreciation can have a profound impact on our overall well-being. Now, let's talk about the hedonic treadmill effect. Professor Santos explains that humans have a tendency to quickly adapt to positive changes in our lives and return to our baseline levels of happiness. This means that acquiring more material possessions or external achievements may provide temporary happiness. But it won't lead to sustained fulfillment. It's important to be aware of this effect and focus on other aspects of our lives that contribute to long-lasting happiness. Mindfulness and living in the present moment are also key factors in happiness, as Professor Santos's research shows. Engaging in mindfulness practices, such as meditation or simply being fully present in the task at hand, can significantly enhance our happiness levels. By embracing mindfulness, we can reduce stress, anxiety, and rumination, and fully appreciate the joys of life. Professor Santos also emphasizes the importance of self-care and well-being for happiness. Taking care of ourselves physically and mentally is crucial. Prioritizing activities like exercise, getting quality sleep, and engaging in hobbies that bring us joy can contribute to overall happiness and life satisfaction. To summarize, these findings from Professor Santos challenge our traditional understanding of happiness. True happiness is not solely determined by external factors, but rather by the quality of our relationships, practicing gratitude and kindness, embracing mindfulness, and prioritizing self-care. If you're interested in learning more about these findings, we highly recommend checking out Professor Santos's lectures and resources available online. Reflect on the strategies and techniques discussed and apply them to your own life. Remember, this is your personal journey to happiness. Now, let's return to our discussion on prioritizing sleep. 
Getting enough sleep is crucial for your overall well-being. Lack of sleep can affect your mood, concentration, and overall health. So, how can you make sleep a priority in your life? Start by creating a sleep schedule and sticking to it as much as possible. Set a consistent bedtime and wake-up time, even on weekends. Creating a routine signals your body that it's time to wind down and prepares you for a restful sleep. Create a sleep-friendly environment. Ensure your bedroom is dark, quiet, and at a comfortable temperature. Consider using earplugs, eye masks, or white noise machines if needed. Avoid stimulating activities before bedtime, such as intense exercise, excessive screen time, or consuming caffeinated beverages. Instead, engage in relaxing activities like reading, taking a warm bath, or practicing mindfulness techniques. Finally, make a commitment to prioritize sleep in your daily life. It may require some adjustments and planning, but the benefits of quality sleep will be worth it. Now, let's take some time to journal. Reflect on what happiness means to you and what brings you joy and fulfillment. Write down your thoughts on the importance of sleep for your overall well-being. Use this journal space to deepen your understanding of yourself and your aspirations for a happier life. Remember, this is a journey, and it's okay to make adjustments along the way. That's all for today. We hope you found it valuable and insightful. If you enjoyed this content, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos on personal development and well-being. Don't forget to share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Until next time, remember, you're not alone, and get a good night's sleep.